Today's video has been brought to you by Pelican, who has provided the Catch 120, and by Scotty, who has provided me with some really awesome kayak accessories. Well, despite this being one of the most stable boats in Pelican's fleet, there are still some people out there that would be uncomfortable to stand up in a kayak like this and would want to add some pontoons. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know of to add stabilization to a kayak. These things feel like they're pretty sturdy. That's nice, because there can be some sharp things out there. Huh. I didn't even know they had these. They've got rod holders attached, so it, it doubles as a stabilizer and a rod holder. That's pretty cool. These are the things that you use to attach it. Standard Scotty mounts. Looks like it has a patch inside. In case you do have a hole, you got a way to patch it up. Pretty thoughtful. The first thing I wanted to do was to figure out where these things would be. When I put a rod in it, would it interfere with anything else? Would they be good back there or up front? Uh, a rod in the rod holder might be in the way of the foot pegs. I think the best place is to put the stabilizer way in the back. Here would be nice, but you can see two rods in each holder might interfere with one another. So back here is probably going to be the best place. And if I wanted to, I could readjust and bring the stabilizers forward. You can see in this overhead shot that figuring out where these are gonna be is not critical because you can just swing them forward or backwards depending on your needs. But for now, let's just attach these Scotty mounts to the boat. The instructions say that you gotta drill 3 8 inch holes if you're going to use the well nuts, which I also got from Scotty. This looks like an awesome way to attach stuff to a kayak. There we go, drilling holes in my kayak again. That is so cool. I don't know where these whale nuts have been all my life, but I've attached a lot of things to kayaks. This is by far the most secure and waterproof way I've ever done it. I have a uh, piece of plastic here with a 3 8 inch hole in it. And personally, I want to see what it looks like when you use the insert. That is pretty cool. Most of the times I would just use screws, but this was like just as easy and way more professional. You know I'm gonna be using those things again. Just 
Okay, to inflate this pontoon, I guess you could blow it up using your lungs. You see they have a an attachment there and it's got like a little spring-loaded dealie there. And they give you this. This attachment screws on and now you can use a pump. I'm gonna use a compressor and an air gun. with like some shark teeth on it or something. That's pretty neat. <laughs> okay, you can see that if I press on the center of this, I can deflect it about a half inch. And that's a good thing. I don't want to inflate them too much because if you put this out in the sunlight, the air inside will expand and you can burst the bladder that's inside of it. Anyways, that's about it. They're now ready to install. out on the water and try it. I've had some really big guys come to my place and rent some kayaks and even in the Catch 120 they had a little trouble standing up. Now this kayak was going to be a lot more stable and should be able to support most people who come by and see what it's like to sight fish or to fish from a kayak while they're standing. I'm really happy to have these things as something to offer to people who come by to my new business. Once again, my thanks to Pelican and to Scotty for helping make this happen. You know, in the past it's been really difficult for me to explain to you guys how good something actually works whether it's a kayak or stabilizers or whatever. Now, I have the opportunity to tell you, come on down to my place and you can actually try it for yourself. This very kayak is for rent. I've rented it this past weekend and the weekend before that. And now, you can have the option of putting stabilizers on it if you like. You'll find information about my new business in the description below and you can go to zoffinger.com and see more info there. Thanks for coming along with me, guys. Thank you.